I'm Willie Carter, number 12, wide receiver for the Howard University Bison. Follow us on our road to redemption. Undefeated North Carolina A&T Aggies are in town for our homecoming, and so are a lot of celebrities. But our main focus is the main event. Offensively, we have to execute and play fundamentally sound. Defensively, we have to be disciplined and fly to the ball, and we'd be victorious. Play with a chip on our shoulder, because everybody counters out for the season we started. But we bring the winning tradition back to Howard. We're one step closer to our championship. There's a different aura on campus, and that's mainly because of Coach Free. The passion and love he exudes for the game has rubbed off on us, but now we're moving in a positive direction. I love him to death. I, I run through a brick wall for Coach Lee. We will contend for the MIAC championship. We will shock a lot of people. We're going to come out and dominate from snap to snap, whistle to whistle. With the new vision, new players, and new attitude, it's a new era for the Bison football team. It's just a different feel. I've never felt this good about a season or going into a season. Everyone is dedicated to win a MEAC championship. We're very physical. We never quit. No matter what, the Bison will come up on top. We know we have talent. We've proven that. We're just doing our job, trying to get back like the 93 and 96 team and win a championship. They just don't know where our heads at, how hard we've been working, how bad we want this championship. We had a freshman quarterback, Craig McGee from Pittsburgh. He has made some big plays for us this year, both running and passing, picking up key first downs. And he's a big part to our success. I'm just doing my job making key plays in order for us to keep winning. We want to finish the season strong. We expect to win. Our journey is just the beginning. I am number 13, Keith Pew, junior linebacker for the Bison. Follow me on this journey. There have been some bumps on the road to redemption, but this is our road to redemption. It doesn't matter if it's your homecoming or you're undefeated. We feel like we can win. Every game is a rivalry game. Bruce Flea, he's led us and inspired us to believe that we can play with the best of them. And it's evidence through our play, day in and day out, each and every Saturday. Now we're 4-4. Four four. Homecoming was a very big win for us. You know, we feel like it was a big morale booster for us. We got three more games to play. Right now, the conference is pretty much, it's almost even. You got an with one loss, you have North Carolina State with one loss. And everyone else is sitting with two losses. So our goal is to finish seven and four. So we understand that, we know where we are, we're motivated. And right now we're build, building momentum. And the most important thing, every week we're getting better and better. So we're steady climbing the ladder. And I think folks understand that in the conference. They know that Howard University football team is something to be reckoned with. It's our version of a bowl game in the FCS. Uh, for those guys that play a game like that from start to finish, so much excitement, so much flair, tremendous crowd. And you haven't won a homecoming game in who knows how long. A uh, chance for all of us to really be proud of your bicycle. Coach Lee and our AD, Lewis Perkins, are teaming up to revamp not only Howard Athletics, but the football team as well. Uh, we want to be strong with football. And Coach Harrell coming back home, being the head coach in his alma mater, where he was a champion. It's important that we can get wins now, start our foundation. It's been incredible. Winning the Alumni Appreciation Day really gave us a lot of momentum confidence and an extra boost of energy going into our game against South Carolina State. The team is awesome. The defense really pulled it out. Of course, the offense was good too. It was just ecstatic. It was a phenomenal game. It was a win we could not do without. I'm so proud. Yay, go Bison!